Hi there and welcome back to Accessible Photography with Alistair McDonalds. Today I'm just out for a walk with the dog out in the car about 10 minutes from home in a place called Salon in Fife. So it's a nice little place, uh, it's very historical. The cemetery here, they actually reckon dates back to medieval times because of the way it's built on the mound. Uh, the original church was taken down and the stone sold back around about 1810, I think they said. Uh, this an inf information board, I'll go and read it again. But a lot of the uh, graves go way back, uh, about three to four centuries. So what I'm actually going to be doing today is taking pictures with just the camera on its own. I've got no filters, just one lens, 70 to 70, what am I doing again? 24 to 70, and just to show that you can take pictures without having to take all the clutter around because it is quite heavy. We saw last week's uh, trip up to Glen Lyon, we were carrying a lot of kit, and but today we're just doing one, ca one camera, one lens, one vlogging camera, and we're going to try and capture some nice images of colour and this nice sunshine with blue sky before it eventually does cloud over because the weather was supposed to be really bad today. I had no plans to do anything. It was supposed to be pouring with rain and windy. So let's go on and take some pictures and see how we get on. And the first one we're going to do is this tree with some nice gravestones. So that's a few images taken in the old churchyard. Uh, moving on, but uh, let's have a look at some of the graves.
really good. Good boy. Deal. find a shot that's perfect if you could just get in a bit closer and you have to then decide to take the picture then crop it and will the quality be good enough at the moment it can get 100 ISO or even less so it might be croppable so I'm going to take this picture colorful farmhouse on a bit of a hill and sheep in the foreground swing the camera around a little bit so you can see that Sun's just gone off the uh, the farmhouse, and I'm going to go forward to the car and see if we can get an image of some sheep in the trees. side as well, not kill, uh, cloud above that. See how that comes out, but nothing exciting. So just uh, probably about 50 meters further forward, and um, got some nice uh, beech trees, unfortunately out of leaf, but it frames the hill in the background. Again, it's not the most spectacular image, but it's slightly different. Uh, a nice lead line of sorts. But we'll see how we do with it. So don't leave the radio on in silent with the traffic information ready to come on or she talks over the, the recording. Well, I've seen an image. It involves live animals though. It involves some sheep and they're very close. And the chances are they will disappear as soon as I get out the car. So the view is the sheep, the mountains, the kind of village come farm buildings whatever it is maybe even the farm sign there's sorry about the bump there's an old cottage over there I don't think that'll be in though but it looks quite pleasant the question is am I actually going to get the image the image that I want mm -hmm. so it's a small road and there's a car waiting to pass I think he thought I'd actually stop to let him through Anyway, I'm going to put the camera so you can watch what happens. Hopefully you'll see it all through the window.
it looks a lovely day but out in the west there it's starting to darken and there's clouds coming in over here it's just small clouds at the moment but it's building up heavily over the the opals over here let's get uh, a better view that's the opals so when you look at it on camera it doesn't look like the weather is going to be changing very much but in my eyes i can see that it is there's something in there it's it's going to change it looks lovely with blue sky and white cloud but it will change and i'm quite sure that in the distance there's already some rain coming through uh, you just got that sort of feel so what i'm going to do is maybe do another one or two shoots depending on the light and then head home for the afternoon i'm not saying i'm a fair weather i am saying i'm a fair weather photographer i'm not saying you can't take good photographs in bad weather in fact some of the best photographs are taken in bad weather and i will be doing that i will through the winter be taking some foul weather photographs uh maybe just not today okay okay a couple of risky things here the first one being i've parked the car slightly off road and it's been really wet lately and i'm hoping i don't get stuck because i have in the past not with this car but a previous car and this one's heavier so i've got to be really careful but i've just seen something that might be worth taking photographs of and as i said there's two risky things the second risky thing is taking duke to this photograph because i've seen highland cows uh, the sun's behind me I've seen highland cattle so i'm with the cows now taking a few pictures and I'm going to just show you by turning this round. The light's gone a bit though. Hey, do you not like the cows? Hey, you're a bit worried about the cows, are you? So, that's a Highland cow for you. Highland, Highland cattle or Highland coos. I'll try not to bounce too much. And I think they're rather nice. Big furry, big handlebars. Yeah. I think this one over here is the, the golden one. He's really nice. Or maybe it's a she. I can't really tell if it's a she or a he. Now, I should know. I know. I do know the difference between a cow and a bull. But there's not an awful lot to see underneath there because they're very furry. I've got the distinct feeling that one's... It's a cow. It's definitely a cow. Yes, that lovely golden one looking at us just now. She is beautiful. Yes, she is. And these others are probably all she's as well. But it's very difficult to see the others. I can just see the others coming out here. But aren't they beautiful? It's a nice photograph. Hold on. So that was Highland Coos. They were rather a surprise to see, because we're not in the Highlands. No, I actually don't know what county I'm in just now. I'm not far from home, but uh, I'm on the border of uh, about three counties really, or close to. I think it might be Clackmannan. I'll put it down below, let you see where I am. Uh, I'm not gonna give the exact location, just roughly what county I'm in. But it's still a lovely day. It really is. Cloud is building up, definitely. That's the shadow of a tree. The cloud is definitely building up. I think this afternoon will be bad. But it's nice to get out. Oh, it's just nice to get out. I'd rather, I'd normally just be 
watching TV at this time and chilling, having the occasional coffee, contemplating lunch, relaxing after a long week at work. And oh my God, it's been a hell of a week at work. Last night, I thought the weekend was going to be a washout because I was just going to be crashed out all weekend. But you know what I did? I had my cup of coffee, I watched some reruns on TV, and I looked out that window and went, get outside, Alistair. You've got to get out. You have to get out. Go and enjoy what's left of the autumnal colours. Take some photographs. Don't overdo it. Just the one camera, one lens. See what you can get, but just get out. Because I'm the worst. I would just slouch around all day doing nothing. And there's no point in doing that. I don't actually feel better. Do you know that? I don't feel better for relaxing and slouching and doing nothing. I get stiff and sore and I feel worse as the day goes on. I'm out just now, I'm in the sunshine and I'm enjoying it. I'm happy. I can feel the endorphins going through me. It's good. Get out. Get out. Take pictures. It's great fun. It's the best thing you can do. You just want to relax in the house and watch TV. Yeah, we all do. Get out, take some pictures. Speak to you soon. Well, I was passing a farmyard and a farm place and saw a sign for a craft fair and photography exhibition. So came along to this place and it's quite a nice little area. Have a look around here. I thought to come in and have a look at uh, some of the photography that's on offer. Not too keen on the crafts, but definitely the photography. There's some antiques there, that was interesting. But what actually happened was, I basically got invited to join a camera club that's based here in a little cafe in the countryside every Friday at 7.30. I think that's really good. So I'm going to come along and join a new club. So I think it's a good idea for me to join a club. I uh, joined the works one, that's slightly different. This one will get me out the house on a Friday evening. Uh, probably be more fun in the summer when it's nice and light. And they do trips locally. And they'll give me some challenges in the local place and be able to compare with other people. So simply by coming out, taking some photographs, enjoying the, the good weather, which is, as you can see, changing quite, quite uh, quickly now, I've... Uh, Got myself into a little social network and joined a club. That's not bad. Let's just uh, hope it keeps up. So you may see some posts later on of uh, me with uh, club members. Anyway, I think that's probably enough for today. As you can see, the good weather's back there. Bad weather is coming from that direction. And it's time to wrap for the day. So, till the next time, bye for now.